Hi everybody, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. As always, thank you very much for joining us. We're here on location at the Florida League of Cities Conference in Hollywood, Florida. And joining me now is Isaac Robertson, Vice Chair for the Public Safety and Crime Prevention Steering Committee of the National League of Cities. Commissioner, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to talk about an issue that most people probably have forgotten a lot about after 9-11, and that is Homeland Security. Why is this an important issue for you? Basically, the committee that I sit on on the national level, that's one of our particular emphasis. And South Florida, believe it or not, has about the most congested area in the internet. We've got the ports, transportation Cruise and everything. Cruise ships and so forth. Cruise ships and everything. And, and recently with the sec with Secretary Napolitano, she has really started looking at South Florida to gear up and making sure that we are defensible down here. And we've looked at what we've had. They've increased security both at all of the airports and in most of our uh, ports here. But as we go from Dade County, Broward County up to Palm Beach County, there was one thing that I really learned when, I, when we met with the President's Homeland Security Task Force Director was that there are no fire suppression boats. Let me stop more. you there for okay. a second. What is a fire a suppression fire boat? A fire suppression boat is the correct term for a fire boat. Okay. We had a yacht up at Mar in the marine in West Palm Beach to burn to the waterway because our fire department could not fight the water, fight the fire from the water. And why is there no fire suppression boats? Is it well, lack of money or what, lack of? Well, it was both, I believe, but I think no one has really brought that to the attention. And since this is a committee that I'm working with, PSC on the on the uh, national level. I have met with our sheriff and the three sheriffs where the money, Homeland Security funding comes to, and they have made this a priority. And the Port of Palm Beach just recently, they received a one point, almost $1.8 million grant to uh, uh, beef up their security as well as another $500,000 grant for training. And we're now also looking around the country for a fire suppression vessel because the sheriff's department, Water Patrol, will house it. And, and everything is in place. All we need to do is find it and get it you in You know, place. Commissioner, pardon me for my ignorance, but it just seems to me that it defies common sense that a port, a busy port, uh, such as the port that you just mentioned, does not have a fire suppression boat. That doesn't, that doesn't, well, we that have doesn't a, pass the no, smell test. There is a Coast Guard station okay. sitting next to the Port of Palm Beach with a small vessel that they can use like a little pumper. I see. But when you have a fire that would engulf a $3 million yacht, at the yacht basin and it's growing ferociously and you can only get to it from land to the docks if there were that little pump it didn't make the grade so this is why it has become a priority with my national committee as well as being unfortunately i i, I chaired a number of the committees in the state of florida here and uh this has become a priority so what we're doing from nlc and our state florida league we're working together cooperatively to get this done. And when do you think something may kind of move forward, if you will, in terms of purchasing a, a boat? Well, we will be, my committee will be meeting in California next month to put together the legislation to propose legislation, but Secretary Napolitano's office is already involved and they're Secretary working of Homeland Security. Homeland Mission. Security uh, is already involved and as you also know, FEMA is now part of that. So. The problem we have is that the present legis the right. present administration. Thank you very much for joining us. Really okay, appreciate it. Okay, very good. Take and of course, care. thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.